today this channel has reached 5,000 subscribers. I seriously thank all you guys for watching my videos and watching the, just watching the channel, you know, just, uh, and subscribe to it and interact with, uh, with the videos. I just want to announce in this video that I am going to be having, uh, a uh, $50 Home Depot gift card giveaway. Subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, comment on this video to enter in the raffle. But we are going to give away a $50 gift card to Home Depot. I want this channel to, to turn into a channel for you to come to for every information, every bit of information you need about a certain tool. And so that's my goal. And it's gonna it, it's gonna it's gonna take a little while, but we will get there. We are gonna unbox this bad boy. Now this thing looks beefy. It looks cool. It looks awesome. It has power. Uh, I saw this uh, uh, on eBay uh, for $150, uh, 146 dollars, and that was tool only. But then the these you can't really get this at my Home Depot stores around my area. And so they actually, for the Black Friday sale, they actually had it. This was $200 for the tool, a two amp hour battery, and a bag, and a charger. And so we are going to open this bad boy up and see what this looks like and see, we're going to test it out today to see how, how it performs with a two amp hour battery. So with the specs on this, all right, so the... The efficient uh, brushless motor is electronic control to optimize battery energy up to 50% longer runtime per charge. I'm assuming that's against a brushed uh, tool. This, this thing is awesome. I wanted this for a while, but I wanted to get it in store, and now I got it. I re this is an item I really didn't want to get it off of eBay. And this M12 uh, hoodie, you guys, is awesome. I'm seriously warm in this garage, as you can see my breath. <sighs> this, this hoodie keeps me warm. Only thing that's not warm is my hands. Alrighty, so let's see what this comes with. All right, so like after you, after you open it, the first thing you get is the bag, which very good. You get a nice little bag with that. You get the charger, which this is my first. This is my first Makita tool that I've that I ever bought, and I, I'm excited to excited to have this. And that's the charger. Let's actually zoom in a little bit. Yes, the model number for the charger is D uh, DC 18 SD. It's very good. Then the next thing you get, of course, just like uh, just like Milwaukee, they have a catalog, which I'm actually gonna check that out. All right, so then you get the battery, which this is my first time owning a battery. And just like DeWalt, just like DeWalt, they have a cover for the they have a cover for the battery, which yep. Just like that, I like that. I like I like that they have a cover for the battery. You know, it's for you know protected from dust or whatnot. So I will be keeping that on there like that when I'm not using it. Battery is dead. Battery is dead. Uh, uh, instructions and warranty, which this has a three-year warranty. So that's that. And then last but not least, they there is the tool. All right, now I didn't expect that. I did not expect that at all. Battery might have a, a certain type of charge. All right, all right, so LED light underneath instead of on the base. Now this does have this thing is this thing feels good in my hand. All right, like I said in previous videos, Makita has a good grip that feels really good in my hand. All right, so let's inspect the the half inch impact really quick. All right, and you guys know I'm a huge fan of the belt clip, so we're gonna put that on right now.
There we go. And like I said in previous videos, to take up our tools, I have a, a, a very low-powered screwdriver so you don't strip the screw or you don't drive the screw through the tool to come out on the other side of the clamshell. So that, that's, that's what I do. Perfect. See, I'll put a link for this in the, in the description below. This is a perfect little tool to have to take apart tools and fix them, and which is that that's what we do in this channel. All right, so this is an interesting setup that they have, which this, uh, the metal housing has a plastic housing over it to give it that shiny look. It's just a protector, but I like that look. That's a plastic clear casing around the casing itself and the there are settings here there is screw then low then high and there is a, a battery display on right there on where your battery life is so you don't don't have to go to the back of the tool and look, just in case if you're already looking there. And one thing I do not see, oh, it's a half inch impact. You're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna have a, a screw holder or, or a bit holder. But this thing looks extremely cool. It, it, this really does. I, I love the way that the Makita feels in my hand. If I were, if I were to switch brands from Ryobi, it would be Makita because the their handle is really good. All right, so the model number for this, uh, for the tool itself, is XWT11. And the uh, RPMs, is there, yeah, there's speed settings. The RPMs is 0 to 1600. I think that's on screw. And it's a setting, the low setting is 0 to 2100. And the high setting is 0 to 2,800. All right. And so the impacts per minute, which they have a hammer symbol, is 0 to 1,800, 0 to 2,600, and 0 to 3,500. It's not bad. So what we're going to do is we are going to charge up this battery and test this out and see what it can do. This thing is awesome. I love the plastic clear housing they have on it. All right, so the battery is charged up and we are gonna use Tac Life's uh, impact rated sockets for this test. Need that, I need this. Alrighty, so where's the ball? Ball's down there. There we go, that's speed three. I don't need that because it's uh, already a half inch. All right, so we're going to test these out on two 6-inch lag screws and two 10-inch lag, screw, lag screws. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do one of each individually. Then we're going to do uh, the other set at once. So we're going to time this individually and see if it could do that, uh, see how well it does continuously doing them. All right, we're going to start off with the 6-inch. We are good to go on that. All right, so here we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. There we go. Oh, all right. So we're uh, so that's the time if you have the screw setting on high. All right. So I just saw that it, it is now on high. 
All right, so that's the screw setting with with it being on high. So now it's just flat out on high. Now we're gonna judge that based on the other six inch. Now this should be this one should go in a lot faster because it's not on if you want to call it precision mode. All right, so let's see what this does. This should go in a lot faster. All right, so three, two, one, go. It's going in slower. All right, so that's just flat out on high. You know, see, this is one reason why, uh, you know, it's cool to have that, to have the, the modes like that, but that's one reason why I like to just have a speed setting for, like, just a switch. Because you, under, because you understand that. Now, of course, you will under... <coughs> now, you will understand that, but... Understand this, but... I think that is screw high or that's just high you see if you go here that sound that that lights up everything from s to high s to h but then if you go tap it again then it just the h is lit up so I and the battery has the battery is full on this on this bar on this it says it has two bars on this it says it has two bars so let, well, let's continue uh, we're just gonna start the timer back again it, it's a tool I need a uh, you you sort of need to learn because this should like it's a half inch mid range impact it should go through this like nothing but we will see. All right, so three, two, one, go. Wait, let's put it back to that S to, there we go. Let's try that again. All right, so let's uh, take this out. See how, let's see how bad it, it is. Alrighty. So, all right, so the light, so now the light's not on. And now the light's on. So if you hold down the hold down the button, you can turn the light on and off. All right. We're learning this because it because <coughs> uh, the settings it's cool, but it is confusing. Now remember, this is only a two amp hour battery. All right. So let's see on how it does taking this out. All right. So three, two, one, go. There we go. All right, you know we are we are gonna try a different spot just in case, because there might be a bad knot right there that we don't know about. So we're gonna try it right here and see what happens. All right, so three, two, one, go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Yeah, I think there was some. There's something right here that where it's uh, it's very dense right here. But there you go. 
There you go. This thing is this thing is awesome. I love the way it looks. We'll do it right here. All right. So a three, two, one, go. Oh, that's reverse. Sorry, my bad. Three, two, one, go. that is going down it's going down very slow now because of that i want to I, I just want to try something so i think makita's mid-range is a lot smaller than the other brand mid mid-ranges because this is the dewalt as you can see there's a big size difference i expected this to be about this size so yeah and as you can see the the ryobi because this is a mid-range impact as well, but there is a significant size difference, which is, I, honestly it, it it lost power. All right, so three, two, one, go. There you go. That's actually pretty fast. It, it's a cool little compact half-inch impact wrench. This thing is awesome. This thing's off, and it's a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. It might, I might have a setting rung on this, you know. And also, it's a it's a regular two amp hour battery, so like we can't truly judge this based on that because this might be significantly more powerful with a bigger battery. Because they do make five amp hour batteries, six amp hour batteries, so we're gonna have to pick some of those up and do a real test. But I, this is just a test to see what this kit can do without anything else besides what besides what's in the kit. So the last thing that we need to just uh, I need to mention uh, there is a max port uh, max torque of 250 210 foot pounds of max torque and 290 foot pounds of nut busting torque. And so, yeah, about 300 foot-pounds of torque in reverse is actually pretty good. So for the, for the size of the tool that, that this is, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. But this thing is awesome. You know, like, it's... Uh, we are going to do a lot more tests out in the future. Now, the, the mid-range impacts that I have so far... And so now I have four mid-range impact wrenches. I got Rigid... I got DeWalt and I got Ryobi and now I got Makita. And so the last one I need for the mid-range is Milwaukee. So I will be picking that up soon. And we are going to be doing a lot of versus videos between the five of these and other brands as well uh, in different situations uh, of using the tools. So like th these things are awesome though. Like every man needs an impact wrench. These things are awesome. So that's pretty much it. So this garage is getting uh, broader in tools, which is good. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But this is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time.